It's Teresa here with your weekly angelic guidance and your weekly angelic oracle reading for October 13th to October 19th, 2014. So this week here in Canada, we are celebrating Thanksgiving. So in honor of Thanksgiving this week, I invite you to really focus on your gratitude. Grab a journal or sit quietly and really focus on gratitude and really focus on authentic gratitude and feeling thankful for the beautiful things that are in your life and that are already in your life. When we begin to authentically feel gratitude, we really begin to raise our vibration and we also begin to change our perspective and see things and situations with light. So this week, really focus on gratitude. So this week, let's see what the Oracle cards have to say for us. I am guided to the Goddess Guidance cards um, by Doreen Virtue. Um, I've been working um, with two other beautiful women on... Um, on um, a goddess retreat, so I think that's why these cards um, are calling me today. So, well, I'm going to choose three cards. I already have one. Oh, and I got two. Okay, so let's see what the goddess cards have to say for us today. The first card is Ain, Leap of Faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. It's really time to take that leap of faith. Archangel Faith is with you, guiding you, opening those doors so you can walk through. And she's supporting you as you walk through, but not only as you walk through, but she's supporting you um, before you walk through and when you walk through. So she will be there with you all the way. So that's Archangel Faith. Call on her as well um, this week. But Ain is telling us to take that leap of faith and move in the direction of your highest joy, um, which is always in the direction of your goals and your dreams. Astera, fertility. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So if you've been holding off on a project or holding off on making a connection um, to somebody or um, to a situation that you know will move you forward, or even if it's um, you know a workshop or a course, um, anything that you know will help you move forward um, or begin this new beautiful project that you've been holding off on, it's time to take the steps towards creating um, that project or um, that new beginning in your life. So, um, Ostera, fertility, um, creating something new. Una, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So I know, um, and actually before um, we came on this, or before I began this reading, I was feeling this too, um, where I feel like I need to get things done and need things to happen quicker. And um, she's reminding us that everything is in perfect timing. So when you're feeling that need to really move forward or like things are not happening as quick as you want them to, and you get that uneasy feeling, um, you know, in your body, just know that everything is happening in divine timing. Everything is working out and um, that will help you find that peace and um, help you feel better um, about where you are at. Um, everything is occurring in perfect timing. So, aim, leap of faith. Ostera, fertility, create something new or begin something new this week. Una, easy does it. You are where you are supposed to be. 
right now and that is perfect for you. So those are your readings for this week and um, have a wonderful week. I still have some spaces left in my 30-day um, angelic um, coaching and reading experience package. Um, so if you'd like to take a look at that, um, just hop on to my website and go to my service page and you will see all of the information there. That begins October 14th, so if you want to sign up, sign up soon um, because it won't be offered again until 2015. So have a wonderful week. May the angels surround you today and always.